Hi, this is Gary Beck, and you're watching Soundhead TV. We are here in the A38 boat with Gary Beck tonight. Hi Gary, Hello. how are you? I'm very well, thank you. It's nice to be here. Uh, I've heard good things about this place, so I'm looking forward to playing. You are from Glasgow, from yes. Scotland. How would you like to ask, how is the scene there? How are things going on there with uh, this techno music and the electronic scene? It's, you know, it went through a little bit of a, a dip a few years ago, but it's definitely on the rise again. There's, there's great clubs like the Sub Club and the Arches. Uh, that are bringing in some really, really good, good talent. So I played in Glasgow the, the first week of January when everyone's supposed to have no money and stuff. And it was in the sub club and it was packed. It was a good place to play. Everyone's, the clubs close at three o'clock in the morning. So everybody has to pack everything into like four or five hours. And it's a, it's a good place to play just now. It's really going well. This is just the beginning of uh, 2013 right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How was your 2012 years? Just in words, how was that year for um, you? It was, it was the best so far, you know. I, I mean, uh, I was traveling every, every week. Uh, I, went, I just went everywhere. Um, I had some really successful releases as well. I had the, my debut album came out as well, which, which was, was, was great to do. Um, so it was really, really a successful full year. It was so much fun. And tiring, but yeah, I mean, it's 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 great. I love it. You know. It's What's your best memory from uh, last year? Uh, actually, it was towards the end of last year. Um, it was my first time playing in Buenos Aires in Argentina, um, and it was just incredible. You know what an amazing vibe. And um, my father actually came along with me to to Buenos Aires because he's a big football fanatic. All right. And we went to the. Well, he wasn't going to come to the club, but. At the last minute he said i want to come as well you know so he was in the club and thousands of people going crazy and he loved it and then the following day we went to see boca juniors playing football and it was oh. just it was just such a a, a, a weird but amazing uh, couple of days so that was that was one of the highlights for me for sure yeah <laughs> And now football, so I, I cannot, I cannot speak, I cannot skip this question: Rangers or Celtic? <laughs> it's alright to say no comment. <laughs> it's, 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 it's a possible. Put it, put it this way: not Rangers. No Rangers. <laughs> all right. Actually, my team is um, called Aberdeen. Aberdeen. Yeah, and they're, they're absolutely shit at the moment, but um, I've supported them since I was a young boy. So yeah, I can't. I can't leave them, you know, they're my team, so, yeah. I hope nobody in Scotland sees this. <laughs> but, so, yeah, I love football very much. Let's go back to the music a little yeah. bit. How things going on with Beck Audio nowadays, with your um, label? Yeah, the, the label's going, going really strong at the moment. It's, it's going stronger than ever. Um, when I started the label, it was only myself that was, that was, was doing things, and I just didn't have the time to, to, to release as much as I wanted. But now, now I have some help with the label. Uh, next up we've got a Mark Broom EP and then followed by myself, uh, we've got a remix of DJ Rush coming up, um, Ben Sims music coming up, so I mean it's, there's a lot happening just now, um, really want to develop it into something really big and it's, it's going in the right direction at the moment, so I'm really happy with it just now. And how are things going on over on the uh, drum court side right now? So I think I'm, I'm due to do something for them fairly soon. Um, it's just it's just finding the time in the studio with all the travelling is 
becoming a little bit more difficult than it was before. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm hoping next, well, I'm hoping this year I'll do another release for them. that the 2012 year was a very successful year yeah, for you yeah. uh, was one of the best what's your what's your what do you think about the 2013 years what are you looking forward for this year um well i mean more of the same would be good you know just uh, just to travel and, and play my music out as much as possible um and obviously i keep saying about beck audio you know i really I, this is my main focus at the moment you know 2013 i'm really going to develop the label um so that's that's basically the plan. Um, yeah, I mean, just just things come things come up and things change as the year progresses. So it's difficult to really to know what's going to happen. You know, that's what I enjoy about it. You, you never know what's going to happen one month to the next. So we'll see. <laughs> Do you have anything plans for 2013 in your private life apart from the music? Uh, sp um, special thing for this year? Maybe maybe I'll try and buy my girlfriend some more flowers or something like that. You know. You are just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, I mean, uh, no, I mean, I have a really enjoyable private life. I've got good friends and, and a good good family there as well. So, yeah, just just maybe not drink as much <laughs> in 2013, but... Why, you drink too much or what? Oh, yeah, yeah, far too much. <laughs> what do you drink? Everything. Uh, favourite? My favourite, I, I, I enjoy a really good uh, red wine, a good Merlot. Uh, but apart from that, I enjoy beer, whiskey, anything, anything that's there. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll try and cut down, I think, for 2013. I'll, I'll try and drink a bit more water, yeah. I think, you know.